Hey guys, welcome to Rosie's Dessert Spot. Today we'll be making this faux dress cake using a cake topper. For the cake, I've used two four inches that have been cut in half and stacked together with vanilla buttercream. This is a top tier, so I've got a four inch cake board underneath my four inch cake, and that's just sitting on a temporary white cake board. I always like to work with the top tiers first, that way they have time to set in the fridge while we work on our bottom tier. The bottom tier that we'll be using is a 6 inch cake. Take your spatula to the side of the cake and any overhang from the filling you can just kind of press it up against the side of the cake. And if you guys are interested in classes we are officially running classes now so I'll have that linked in the description box for you guys as well as the recipes today. You can take your spatula once you're happy with the outside smoothness and just bring that lip of frosting to the middle. Pop your cake into the fridge to set and then work on your bottom tier. I like to create little grooves in the buttercream when I stick it to the cake board. kind of feel like it works as a suction cup. Those little pockets of air help to pull that cake down against the sponge. Repeat the same steps as before, cleaning up the outside and the top. Into the fridge she goes for 20 minutes, just to set. And then we're going to go over a second time with black buttercream. To achieve a nice dark buttercream, I recommend coloring your frosting the day before. I ended up adding lots of a black and gel food color. And it kind of looks like a bit of a gray here, and as it continues to set, um, it will darken. Follow the same steps for your six inch. And you can see the little four inch cake in the background there in the left, eh, sorry, in the right corner. I like to leave the lip raised when I'm working with tiered cakes that I can either cut it off or if the cake is nice and chilled when you're creating that final layer of frosting, the lip hardens. And so when you drag it into the middle, it creates a sharper edge than if you were to drag it while it was still soft. So just a little quick tip there. Add in your bubble tea straws. I have five of them. You could also use wooden dowels. Just cutting it flush with the very top of my frosting and then applying some buttercream to stick my top tier on top. That was sitting in my freezer for about 20 minutes, so it was really easy to handle. Sometimes with tiered cakes, you can see the little spaces in between. You can fill that in with buttercream and then smooth it out for a seamless finish. On goes the cake topper, which was just a black acrylic topper, and I used a yellow ribbon, just kind of tied around it to look like a dress. And then match up the buttercream color as best as you can. I have a 1E piping tip here. Usually I use the 1M, but I really wanted to see what this looks like. So I use the 1E here. But I do prefer the look of the 1M, I have to say, for the rosettes. Build your rosettes to be really skinny from the top and then working their way out, expanding across the bottom tier. So it kind of looks like her dress is flowing down the cake behind her. As a finishing touch, I've taken some edible gold um, glitter. I sprayed it purposely onto the black of the cake as well because I wanted it to really pop at the seam of a dress and then all over the um, rosettes as well. And that's it. That is how you create a really fun dress cake using buttercream rosette decorations and a cake topper. Thank you guys for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next one or in class. I'll be linking those in the description box below.